a little bit cloudy today. Today is the 21st of March 2022. It's a Monday in Bangkok. And uh, here's the traffic scene. Looking down from our hotel room. That's the BTS going by. So uh, it's a pretty busy place. Six lane. We want direction. Sunrise, but you can't really see the sunrise today because it is a little cloudy. Um, today we're going to hop over to Wat Aran, which is uh, called the Dawn Temple. It's supposed to be really pretty, so we have to wear long pants. And then what we're going to do is to take the Chao Praia Express to the Wang Lang, Wang Lang Market and uh, check it out. After that we'll come back, probably take a snooze, take a swim if it doesn't rain and then we will figure out what we're going to do tonight. Maybe do some shopping, who knows. Alright, we're heading down for breakfast. Hopefully it's a good breakfast. Let me check, make sure I have my room key. Yes, I do. We can go on the sixth floor. We are room 3101. Going to take the elevator. You still haven't figured out what you want to eat? Orange for me. Soy milk. I guess they don't have. I guess they don't have the glove for you to. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to have a porridge. Alright, we are going to take the MRT. So we have to go find the MRT instead of the BTS. Uh, we're going to take 10 stops from Terminal 21 or Sukhumvit to... It's a rep tab. So... We will see. This is the BTS, so we have to go to MRT instead. MRT is downstairs and BTS is on this level. Uh, MRT that way, Sukhumvit Station. Alright, it's loud. But at least there's no Hong Kong Hong. So it's not too bad, it's just a low droning kind of a sound. Little girl here selling flowers. And on the left is the Sukhumvit MRT station. People buying lottery, selling flowers. MLT restriction, no durian. All right. Read me note 11. I think I'm gonna get me one of those when I get home. The connection is not great, but it's cheap and takes good pictures. I think that's what I needed the most is to take the picture, do some Google map. So it's not too bad. And at home we have Wi-Fi, so connection is not too bad. We're going to go to the train. I 
guess I shouldn't be going to here. You stand to the left, I think. Oh no, you stand to the right. AIS. I think uh, SIM card, the most, the best connection you get is probably AIS. But I got True, which seems to be not as good. So now we have to go buy ticket. We should be a. We've done that before. Uh, pretty straightforward process. And uh, we'll see. Touch screen, start menu. Hey, I touched the screen. There you go. English here. Yeah. I guess touch screen is not very smooth. Okay, maybe we try a better one. Alright. We touch uh, English here. Please select your destination. Our destination is called It's a Rap Hub. So we are here in Sukhumvit. We take 10 stop to this one. BL uh, quantity 2. So 76 bar. go in the same place you just come out a little bit differently no you just tap and you get your temperature check here So, which way did you say again? Lock song. To trains, I think all trains go down that way. So it's one platform, two direction. on that direction on the right so we are going to right on the right yes to scroll Wak Mang Kong Wak Mang Kong is the uh, 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 Chinatown uh, no we, I thought no we go to it's the uh, rap hub yeah, but Kuala Lumpur is Chinatown, right? Kuala Lumpur, no, that's like a little bit too far. I think Wat Makong is better. So the train is coming. So we take 10 stops to it's the Red Pep. Looks like kind of uh, lots of people. But lots of people getting off. Right here, Chao Dai Lan. We 
we are on the grounds of Wat Arong and uh, pretty impressive stuff I tell you it's humongous this uh, structure with really intricate uh, decoration this must be gosh I don't know 20 stories high yeah and uh, every everything is inlaid everything with mosaic and uh, porcelain tile that kind of stuff so but I think the first order of business is always go to the toilet when you see a toilet do not give up a chance to go there and then you look at this and uh, you wonder wow how long did it take and uh, how many people did it take this one is the small one this one is the tall one this is the one that hmm let me see about at least 20 stories high if not higher I mean quite a structure although many of the decorations sort of looks repetitive still very in intricate and impressive I don't think we can climb up there maybe climb up part, part way but uh, oh yeah looks like they got handrails so maybe we can climb up there a little bit and see the view from up there it will be interesting I mean, there's some shops here that you can buy souvenir elephant pens and shrouds and all that kind of stuff and they are all quite reasonable oh that's the toilet Chiang Mai's gone there Thailand, Chiang Mai, 80 baht nice t-shirts too Interesting Looks like the black clouds are coming in. We might choose to bail, but uh, impressive structure nonetheless. And over there, and over there is the entryway with the bells ringing, as you can see. And looks like a lot of more of a Chinese influence with the tr trees and decorations or well, maybe just run up that one staircase real quick and check it out though it will be a challenge to climb up there Unfortunately, we can't go up there because it's way too steep. If you fall down, you're gonna kill yourself for sure. But uh, this place is not huge compared to uh, some of the other temples, but uh, the intricacy of the inlay of the fresco and the mosaic is pretty impressive I mean, look at this this is the decoration throughout the whole place 
and it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on all the way up to the top it looks like almost like a broken porcelain tile that they're using like a, from a plate or whatever and then they use it as a floral motif to uh, although some of them are obviously made for this by this flame thing here but uh, the rest almost looks like it's made from bro broken tiles of some some kind but to do this everywhere it's pretty crazy so that's about all we can climb up to see and you can walk over, you can walk over there if you want but that's not a whole lot different so and Jenny's worried that it's gonna rain so we're gonna head down and maybe head out well just as I was saying that it was gonna rain the sun popped out again who knows what it's gonna do but we are need to go to the front to look at the two uh, very famous uh, giant uh, statues so let's look for Jenny and then we can go up front there don't tell me this is you can't tell me that this is not a Chinese influence definitely Chinese with the flag on the back and all that that's 100% Chinese influence oh there she is let's run to the front and check it out I think she's probably looking for that also don't know where the statue is might be on the other side wow look at this ladder of people set up to go all the way to the top oh it takes, takes a strong heart to be able to do that. Oops. A little bit of explanation here. Temple of Dawn. Please visit the prong with respect to the Buddha's relic. So it's got English and Chinese uh, explanation here. Hey, what around is Zheng Wang Miu? Huh. Interesting. Okay. I want to see the two statues and then we can take the boat from here, cross the river. Finally. <coughs> finally found the creature that we were looking for and they are not in front of that temple but this one so pretty impressive looking folks here so we're taking the ferry across the Chow Prao Chow Praia uh, the fare is uh, four bucks which is just uh, about a little over 10 cents to cross so a good way to get on the river and see the temple from across the from across the river sorry don't look The uh, other temples and uh, high rise on that side, 
This is the Wat Arong And we are at the Wat Arong Pier You gotta come here after you exit the temple to the north of the uh, temple uh, because if you go up there it seems like the two piers P1 and P2 just outside the temple are more for to buy tourist tickets again here is four bucks pretty amazing at least you get a little taste of the river and here you can see that they advise you to wear your backpack in front of you because uh, it's safer and if you wear it on the back it's not safe along the river here the prime real estate you can see there are some shops but there are some nice buildings here too and some uh, living kind of a rundown places but hey you're by the river so can't complain too much huh and then on the left is a nice little temple set back a little bit so uh, I think we're ready to go of course an extremely short ride probably take about uh, 30 seconds a minute to get to the other side but hey, what do you expect for four baht, right? And then after that, we can take the Chow Prior Express and uh, go up river to the Wang, maybe go to Wang Nang Market. We'll see how it goes. See if the sky holds up. If not, we might just eat here and then uh, head back. Might be one of the shortest ferry ride ever. along the Chao Prior River. Wow, pretty dirty, lots of floating bottles and stuff. Fish food. Yeah. Oh, just look here. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Ice. Oh, okay. So, cream crab. Well, what the lady was trying to show us is tons of fish. Whoa! See, look at all the fish. Whoa! Oh, you look. Wow, that's a fish. Wow. They are huge. Uh -huh. Morning. Souvenir shops probably used to be 
Not anymore. Looks like a tour bus up ahead. So we are walking around the palace, accosted by a lot of different people. See some, looks like uh, ladies dressed really upscale. Uh, maybe it's from the Navy's Wife Club. And uh, the palace is over there. Got a lot of different uh, cheap vendors come in. Tell us the palace is free today. I think the palace is always free. This lady just in tight attire. It's very nice. They may not be. So we've reached what's apparently a touristy spot very nicely uh, together with lots of elephants and hopefully we can catch a ferry from here if not then I'm at a loss but the whole uh, side of the river was the Royal Navy Club there was no way to uh, Take a ferry from here but at least here there is a pier and uh, hopefully we can get uh, get some transportation here this is the Ta Chang Pier It's probably a little bit further than what we like, but this is a uh, traveling boat to boat ticket. Sightseeing boat. Very aggressive styling here. But we are going to Wang Ten. Pay Chen. Wang Long and Ten. Wang Long. Wang Lang. Wang Lang. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Not too bad. I might do. They can tell you, Lokong, you think you're adventure. Taking the express boat or whatever boat to Wang Long.
<laughs> Very fast. Fish here. This is called the Wang Lang or Wang Lang. So here's in our trip. Wow, trash city. Here's in our trip of our exciting boat ride. Pretty snazzy place. All right, now we're gonna go look for the market, Wang Lang Market. Although there's plenty of stuff happening here too. Looks like. I take it this means exit. Sushi shop at Wang Lang Market. This is 15 bucks. Wow, the sushis are pretty big. Got tuna, got salmon, and here the 10 baht section. Got a good selection here octopus, squid, eel, eggs, that kind of stuff. Got whiting, and then the rolls are 5 baht, which means 6 for a dollar. And uh, these are the cheap stuff. So you get all these and then you go and pay over at the counter, pick your own. Wow, so cheap. Pretty big market and then you got fries, football, takoyaki style, mango. Things are not exactly cheap I would say but they are reasonable. If you know what you're looking for, it's pretty good. The lady riding a bike, so we're gonna go across. Mango, 100 bucks for your clothes, dress, lots of KF95, mango, 
for mango sticky rice for 50 bucks and all kind of box rice or you can sit down and eat got roast ducks here Oh, these are the are these the leaves we saw in the rose apple, pen, mango. And what is this? Oh, grilled bananas. We had that at Dara and Mike's place. Pretty good for breakfast. Yeah. These are, are these the mango plants? Lots of uh, people that need help. ขอเชิญร่วมกับคนพบคุยกันที่ศาลให้แก่ผู้พิการทางการค้าเมื่อไหร่ก็ร่วมได้ช่วงนี้รับรวยขอบคุณค่ะสวัสดีค่ะขอ
Granny Grab Motorbiker Flowers for the Buddhas and Some kind of fried stuff More fried stuff We are heading back now These are the Indian stuff Indian snacks We had that at Costco and it tastes good Now we are Going back, hopefully we pick up some fish ball noodle or something like that. Might not be in the most comfortable place to eat, but uh, exciting nonetheless. There's some kind of a rice noodle thing. I think that was the place. Or is it here? So they all speak a little bit of English, so ordering is no problem. Just point and say, hey, this is what, this, 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 not spicy, no spicy. So, uh, it's a hole in the wall shop in Wang Nang Market. Uh, pretty good, love it. I think that's the place to, uh, this kind of place we love to try out once in a while. It's not too bad. It doesn't look super, super clean, but sometimes you gotta take the risk. At least it's boiled soup, so everything's nice and hot. And they, seems to do a decent job of cleaning so uh, hopefully everything will be good uh, this is what it looks like inside Jenny Man's looking at the delivery and she's getting a little bit concerned about what the food looks like eyes wide open but I think it's okay I told her we want something like a fish ball kind of thing. So I think we're good. Just boiling the water, the noodles. Looks like on the right is the boiling station, on the left is the frying station, and uh, you can have all kinds of things. But uh, we thought it would be a lot busier, but maybe not. But the food looks pretty good. So she's put on, putting on a ton of fixings, and uh, I told her no spicy. So everything should be cool. Now she's pouring on some soup, nice and hot. So everything will be nice and clean and safe. Yeah, 
Here it comes. Cocoon crab. Oh, spicy. Ooh, good. Okay. Looks pretty good. Got some wonton meatball. We can do a mock wing impression here. Well, as predicted, it's open up quite a bit and people are busy protecting their merchandise and some have uh, prefab their own uh, plastic sheets drapes some just straight plastic sheets over and pretty interesting to see people just walking by running trying to get out of the rain i'm better here for some reason it's hard to come by can't find any a lot of cell phone cover and people still buying food people still riding motorbikes going by rain's coming down pretty hot now this probably won't last that long we'll wait it out probably takes about i would predict about 15 minutes for it to pass and then we'll take the boat back so after a little bit of raining adventure we are back at the express uh, water shuttle gear and tank and then after that we'll take the three stops to what are on my friend what my friend is looking at you. Oh, that uh, gecko on the. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we are on. Oh, on the boat again, this time going in the correct direction. <coughs> Doesn't look like we get a fancy dance. Here comes our boat. basically empty maybe they're using it as a ferry now highly doubtful okay I think we can go
she did check our ticket. So three stops. See, that's what our room right there. So Maharaj is where we got on just now. Next pier, Maharaj. the Grand Palace is. So, it's a huge boat and this one even have an upstairs but uh, no, not a lot of people taking this one. Next stop is Maharaj. And that in the distance is that's what I don't right? How come it's three stops? Yeah, I think this is where we stop. Maybe there's nobody on the last two stops. So they just come directly here.
pretty deserted train station train just left so next train about five minutes and that one is going the other way which is not what we want so we will wait So all the different mangoes here. Nam dot mai. This is Nam dot mai ripe mango. This is also Nam dot mai. This one is 75. 75. This one doesn't have paper wrap. That one is red mango. How to eat two round. This one is organic. So it's 199 baht. This is the raw mango. This one is Kai Chuk. It looks pretty good too. And then you get all kind of green mango. So, oh, and there's some over there too. And these are encapsulated mango. Wow. So many types of mango. Oh, and look at this one. This one is in a box. Golden mango. 287 baht. This must be special. Uh, probably have six of them in there. And of course, here they have watermelon, yellow watermelon, red watermelon, watermelon, but it looks like they do not have uh, seedless watermelon. Let's see how much is the coconut. Coconut is 45. I'm sure they have it in there too. Oh, okay. yeah. Floral care. Listerine. Small bottle. Where's the small bottle? You only have a big bottle. I thought there is one. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, here they're all a little bit big. Yeah. No, these are not the serene. Okay, let's go to the next door. So your cold game. Well, we've come to Big C Extra and it's certainly extra. It's got a pretty good food size food court. Uh, right over there prices are probably right in between uh, Terminal 21 and Siam Paragon got a few uh, got a few restaurants here too food court got about oh, maybe 20 stores or so got a ghost shop here too and, uh, and then you got a whole bunch of other shops and uh, I guess eventually you get to Big C. Uh, popcorn here, lots of snacks. Mr. Donut is here. Mm -hmm. KT Optic, AIIZ. And then eventually, I guess, all the way on the end is Big C. 
clean. There's a home pro here. Hey, Jenny. I think Big C is on that side. Hey, Big C is upstairs. We have gotten a, a cart from outside. They must have cut out there. So they like this kind of uh, a flat slope elevator. Kind of hard to negotiate. But uh, they got music blaring and uh, quite a lot of people. And it seems like it's almost all local. So uh, we're here to maybe buy some snack and stuff that we can bring home, as in bring back to the States and uh, share among friends and see what else we can come up with. We got, we got lots of ham and uh, little hot dog sausage things. They are in love with those things. And here looks like it's uh, uh, stuff for hot pot. Got meatball, got meat, three slice for your convenience. Lots and lots of hot dog. And, uh, anything on a stick, they seem to love anything on a stick. And, uh, we're gonna run up ahead. This is a frozen food and meat section. Uh, actually, let's take a look at the meat. So, a lot of meat that is pre-packaged in there, but there's also a lot of meat that you can uh, Take a plastic bag and uh, get it for yourself. Frozen pork, minced pork is all gone. Pork belly, 225. I assume that's per kg. So that's about, about 3 350 a pound. And that would be chicken here. We got parts also, chicken thigh, chicken breast. Uh, that's like two, three dollars a kg. And then you got chicken carcasses for twenty-eight bucks a kg. Chicken drumlet seventy-eight. Chicken thigh seventy and chicken breast eighty-three. That's the cost. And, uh, and then you got the good stuff that's behind the shelf. These ribs are pork ribs, spare ribs, country ribs. 310 per kg, so that's about five bucks a pound. And uh, 215, this nice boneless chicken breast. It's about six dollars a pound. Six dollar kg, so about a little less than three dollar a pound so that's what it costs let's look at the fruits here fruits we got a lot of different mangoes mangoes 33 here 54 for two here and then you got mango sticky rice for uh pre-made for 39 bucks here Three sliced fruit, three package, and then you got lots of produce up here. And then you got fish over here, but we're not interested in those things actually. We're gonna head on to the snacks section. Unless Jenny Man has some other ideas. And she's running off uh, ahead of us to the bakery section. 
but uh, we will not need any baking baked goods for sure since we are eating at the hotel in the morning and pick yourself six bottles of cheese What is it about? 20 cents and, uh, Looks like a pineapple tart Also 20 cents okay. Little moon cakes Good stuff uh, We are not eating those We can't bring those home for sure These are kind of uh, fish and meat we can't bring those home either unfortunately snacks salmon skin salted egg we have those at home oh what did she, where did she go she discovered something new oh here we go pork rinds they love pork rinds it's more of a northern type kind of a food they eat that with a dip so we had that a few times also healthy or not doesn't matter candy all right let's go look for snacks like over there on the right hand side right there Garlic bread, no, not what we're looking for. Crispy bread, no. Brownie, no. Well, we'll get back to you. Well, a big bunch of this bandang leaf is less than a dollar. What can I say? Well, look at what I found at Big C. You got guitar, guitar, and guitar. Wow, just sitting on the floor like that. And uh, for about 100 bucks, 200 bucks, some less than that, get yourself a guitar, just pick them up. How about that? They got drumsticks here, ukulele, guitar strings. Very small music section here. And then of course, the shampoo section is huge. I mean, we're talking about like five, six aisles. And then some of shampoo. Here, of course, is more important than music. Wow, look at the selection of shampoo. And crazy. Lots and lots of shampoo. More shampoo. I think there might be some snacks up front over there. Ah, this is a proper snack section. So we might pick up a few things here. All right, let's pick up a few things here. Anything, but it must have some Thai words on it. It must be unusual. So, we'll see. 